please state your full name for the record. Deborah Ann Hickson. State. Ms. Hickson, if there is something that you would like to say as a victim in this case pursuant to Florida law, please feel free to express yourself. Thank you. Christopher Brent Hickson was an extraordinary man. He was a father. He was a husband. He was a son, a brother, an uncle, a cousin, a godfather, and friend to many. He was stolen from us by an unimaginable act that you planned and executed. You stole him from us, and you did not receive the justice that you deserved. There is no mitigating circumstance that will ever outweigh the heinous and cruel way you stole him from us. You were given a gift, a gift of grace and mercy, something you did not show to any of your victims. I wish nothing for you today. After today, I don't care what happens to you. You'll be sent to jail. You'll begin your punishment. You'll be a number. And for me, you will cease to exist. You have taken enough from me and my family. And today, we close this chapter on this part of our nightmare and only remember Chris for the hero he was to us every day. I pray the media and the rest of our community also closes the door and that your name and existence will be erased from everyone's conversation. You wanted to see the family suffer. Well, no more. We will not just survive. We will thrive, and we will honor Chris and the other 16 beautiful people that you took from us with positive action and wonderful memories. They will not just be victims of the MSD shooting. They were individuals. They had plans and dreams, and I will live the rest of my life making those dreams come true. I will no, lever, no longer let the darkness of how he was stolen from us be how he is remembered. I will take my pain and turn it into the purpose, turn it into purpose and continue to shine the bright light of Chris's life to help others. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Hickson. Thank you. The state would next call Miss Natalie Hickson. Good morning. Good morning. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. You can put your hand down. Please state your full name for the record. Natalie Hickson. Okay, state. You may inquire. Ms. Hickson, is there something you'd like to say on your brother's behalf? Yes. Please proceed. Since your prefrontal cortex of your brain is not developed, I will keep this very simple for you to your IQ of 83. Just like you, I use Google and social media as well. I figured you could relate to that. According to Google, the definition of victim is a person harmed, injured, or killed as a result of a crime, accident, or other event or action. You are not a victim of anything. Again, according to Google, the definition of entitled is believing oneself to be inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. This is who you are, entitled. Just an individual out for attention that can get it, whether it is good or bad, as long as you are in your spotlight. Well, that spotlight burns out tomorrow. Nobody's going to remember your name or who you are or what you did because after tomorrow, Nobody cares about you or what is going to happen to you because it ends. Since social media is so important to you, this came across my TikTok for you page. Sadly, I can't remember the fellow, the fellow educator that this quote belongs to, but you are born looking like your parents, but when you die, you die looking like your decisions. My brother Chris, on February 14th, died a hero. He, not just to our family, but to countless others of individuals that he touched. 
You, however, you will die as nothing because you are nothing. Thank you. The state would next call Mr. Tom Dixon. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you, sir. You can put your hand down. Please state your full name for the record. Thomas Emanuel Hickson. Okay, state. You may inquire. Mr. Hickson, is there something that you'd like to say on behalf of your father, Mr. Christopher Hickson? I would. Please. Thank you. Treat, never keep, keep. Four words that don't mean much to a lot of people. But anyone who's gone through any kind of basic firearms training understands that these are the four weapon safety rules. Treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Never point your weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Keep your weapon on safe until you intend to fire. These delineate the intent to fire. It's pretty straightforward. You learn these when you were in JRTC on the marksmanship team. I know that because I was also a member of the JRTC marksmanship team when I was a student here in Broward County myself. So you knew that. You understood that. And the evidence of this case proved that you had intent to do what you did. A year ago, in this very building, you told us that you had remorse for what you did. Well, where was your remorse when you saw my father injured and bleeding out on the floor and decided to shoot him for a third time? Your defense preyed on the idea of your humanity. Yet you had none for those that you encountered on February 14th. You're not a disturbed or broken person. You're a person who fundamentally lacks character. You lacked gratitude for what you did have in life, which is more than many others have. You lacked courage to seek whatever help you needed. You lacked the strength to ignore your misguided anger and channel it into something positive. And you lacked love, not only for yourself, but for those around you. Instead of seeking out a community to support you, you resorted to the lowest form of communication, violence. You sought out power and strength over others, ignoring that the strongest people are those who have a tribe behind them. That's what people like my dad had that made them strong. They had people around them who supported them and built them up. What you did was weaken a family, a community, and generations of young adults by taking their strongest advocate out of their corner. You are unfortunately living proof that evil does exist in our world, and you've proven that you have nothing positive to contribute to society. You're not going to be a case study or provide some kind of breakthrough insight into the mind of a school shooter. You're instead going to be relegated to a name on a tombstone that no one ever visits. Thank you, Your Honor.